next oh we got is Manny Pacquiao aka Pac-Man the greatest of his generation let me know in the comments if y'all agree or disagree let me know y'all been loving these Pac-Man videos so if you want more Pac-Man videos hit that like button hit that sub button um also too, you can comment down in the comments um any other players y'all want me to react to I got you so hey the pride of his homeland, a master of his craft, and the last remaining giant of his generation. To consider Manny Pacquiao as one of the best fighters ever going into 2020 stands as somewhat of an understatement, attaining unparalleled achievements within the sweet science and standing as one of the world's most influential figures. And so, breaking down the argument for fighter of the decade, the story, as expected, narrows down to two contrasting figures, a record-breaking and era-defining rivalry, nice. which saw two men from opposite ends of the globe mesmerize the entire sporting world. Here, we break down one side of the argument by summing up Manny Pacquiao's incredible achievements over the past 10 years, a span that has seen revenge, redemption, and rewards beyond our wildest expectations. Please click the thumbs up button, subscribe, and press the bell button as we look at why Manny Pacquiao could be considered the fighter of the decade. All Welcome right. to a Motivedia presentation. Yes, sir. Shout out to him, man. Y'all go subscribe. Pacquiao started out the decade following one of his career best performances against Miguel Cotto. Cotto. Who do you think wins that fight? Pacquiao is a, is a quick starter. And if, if I had to lean towards a fighter, I would say uh, Pacquiao. A night that saw him crown the first ever seven weight world champion in his move up to welterweight. However, the year opened with bad news, with Floyd Mayweather negotiations breaking down ruling out a 2010 mega fight. You will not fight him if he doesn't agree well, to the drug. Like I said before, we all we focus on uh, uh, on Mosley. You know, that's oh, what you guys answer the question. Uh, Instead, wait, they was going to fight in 2011. I didn't even know that. When did they fight? They I think they all actually fought was it like probably like 2015 or something like that. Dang, that's crazy. So they've been talking about fighting each other for a minute. Opened against tough Ghanaian fighter Joshua Claudi. Blood clock. I know who I am, and I know what I can do. So I don't think any opponent can take me light. Bang! Taking every single round. You seemed reluctant to exchange punches with him. Why was that? Yeah, because, you see, uh, um, he's fast. Eight months later, Pacquiao signed the deal to make yet another sensational move up in weight. This time, a 154-pound bout against ill-famed Mexican fighter Antonio Margarito. Oh yeah, Margarita. Seemingly unable to miss, fans saw a boxing clinic in another had no of Filipinos' chance. most mesmerizing performances. Uh -huh. oh. That's a pretty big guy you just beat up. What was that like? The night of the fight, I was 148 pounds and Margarita 165 pounds. The commission asked what? me, are you going to defend your title? No, never mind, give it to them. <laughs> now eight what? world champion, Pacquiao entered 2011 with an air of invincibility. But it's amazing how he succeeds beyond the wildest imagination. And it showed as he scored another landslide victory, putting 50-fight veteran Sugar Shane Mosley onto a survival mission. Okay, now we can stop debating about this, Shane. We see it's that way. Are you serious? We can stop debating about this, Shane. We see it's that way. Bro. The main job of a fight coach in your corner is to hype you up. If at any point, the only person in the world that you can rely on for judgment and motivation, if he says, what do you want to do? 
we see is that way. What are you going to do, bro? The only person. That is the only person, bro. Even he said that? No, no, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, now we can stop debating about this, Shane. We see it's that way. He gave up on you, bro? <laughs> Next, in a night that's billed as the 25th round, the dope. Filipino faced previous two-time opponent, Juan Manuel Marquez. Though, in what was supposed to erase all doubt from the previous two, Manny, did you think you won the fight when the bell rang? Yes. You thought you won the fight? Yeah, that's why we have a third fight. <laughs> the third fight brought even more controversy. Oof. Scraping a majority victory after an all-out war, Pacquiao moved to 54, 3, and 2. We always have distractions and so forth, and usually the distractions don't, don't get to many, but something got to him this time. It was a close fight. Was it? Yeah. Shame on you. Shame on you. <laughs> Six months oh. on, 2012 sparked another dramatic trilogy, the first bout against Tim Desert Storm Bradley. I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was scared. I was scared out of my mind. See Bradley doing his best to not let the moment get to him, but he is clearly tightly wound. I had my goal in mind, but at the same time, it was just like, how hard does he punch? Down goes Morales. Oh, he punched hard. Fast, fast, fast. Amazingly fast. This time, despite countering effectively and doing visible damage, oh. the decision went against Pacquiao in a controversial split decision. And no split decision. We just seen bro almost lose his life out there. And they talking about split decision? Huh? What do you mean? Did you think you won the fight? Absolutely, yes. And you see how, that's how you know everybody, literally everybody in there know he won the fight. <laughs> Who asked him? Why, look, he's standing right in front of him. Did you think he won the fight? <laughs> everybody knows, bro. Everybody knows. He not even happy. Adding insult to injury no. came his second loss of the year, this time in dramatic and unquestionable fashion. Back and tries to roar back the nail pack out with the right hand. Oh, oh, shit. oh my god. No, no, no. Tries to roar back the nail pack out with the right hand. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa. The Bro just went to sleep just before his 34th birthday oh, echoed all the signals of a finished fighter. Oh. Refusing to oh. accept his decline and ignoring media criticism, Pacquiao's return was imminent. And from late 2013, the next 12 months saw an emphatic comeback. The Filipino overwhelmed Brandon Rios in China with speed and movement. He uses that right hand better than any shot ball. Oh, yeah, he's so fast. I can't even see what's happening. He's, he's that fast. Right Convincingly ended Tim Bradley's undefeated record in their MGM rematch. Max Bradley up, goes to the flurry again. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. And destroyed Chris Algieri at the back end of 2014 scoring a total of six knockdowns. <laughs> Manny's power is very surprising. He cuts good angles, you think you're safe, and you're not. Which leads us to the big one. After six years of anticipation, billed as the fight of the century. One that, due to never-ending oh, negotiations, really became more aptly taglined better late than never. Taking the first three rounds across the board, Mayweather gained the early momentum. And with Pacquiao's lackluster punch output, the subdued Southpaw lacked his usual energy and aggressiveness, enabling Mayweather to pick his shots, avoid any meaningful damage, and ride out a wide victory across all three cards. Disclosing an injured right shoulder and unsatisfied with the decision. Although there was a problem with the shoulder, whether it existed or not, I always said there was no, there, there was, go, there wait, wait, go, wait, there no, go. hold on, hold on. 
Pacquiao remained insistent on his eventual rise towards another world title. And so one year later, with Floyd now retired at 50-0, Manny's journey restarted with a third victory over Tim Bradley. He used his experience against me, uh, his ability, and uh, he won the fight tonight. Congratulations to Manny Pacquiao. He's a very experienced fighter. I give him credit. You know, he's, he's a legend. Eight months on came that memorable night in Queensland, Australia. A night where, despite a career best performance from Jeff Horn, boxing fans witnessed what would be considered no! amongst the worst decisions of the decade. And no! yeah! Horn Scullies! Though again, I have never seen a fight like this. Yo, that's actually kind of sweet. Dang, so was they in like an actual like stadium? I mean, I guess all the things be stadiums, but this is like a a different type of stadium. Like, it was like they hold way more people. That, that It's honestly, they should have been doing this, to be honest. Like, why are they just now, like, why am I, just, why is this the first time I'm seeing this? Refusing to show any disrespect. Thank you to all the fans who came here. Uh, thank you so much to all the Filipino people. The setback would only further motivate the Senator. And straight back in at the deep end, in mid to late 2018, Pacquiao took on another Hall of Famer in form of hard-hitting Lucas Matisse. Matisse. And rolling back the clock in violent style, he put away the Argentinian in the seventh, sending a shockwave throughout the boxing world. Which leads us to the last and even more impressive 12 months in which the Pac-Man catapulted himself right in with not only the division's very best, but the pound-for-pound -pound elite beating two young, live, and oh. hungry champions in Adrian Broner and Keith Thurman. Right. Do you feel like they're underestimating you? Man, I, I, okay, I'm trying to tell you. You might get punched, Brian. Broner brought his usual trash talk, was beaten by activity. Pacquiao lands a lead left to the body of Broner. And accuracy. with Pacquiao's continuous barrages of punches. In favor of the winner, and still WBA welterweight champion of the world. Yes, sir. Whereas Thurman dropped in the first, oh! Thurman! struggled to find his feet into the middle rounds. Oh, good right hand left hook by Thurman. Providing too little. Boxing's pride to the Philippines. Too late. And so now, becoming a four-time welterweight world champion and standing as the only fighter to have ever been a world champion for four successive decades, Manny Pacquiao holds unparalleled achievements in a movie-like roller coaster career, one that, for generations to come, will reflect humility, determination, perseverance, and endear the pride of an entire nation. Now, let me, like I said, let me know in the comments, do you, how do y'all feel about uh, this question? Is Manny Pacquiao the greatest of his generation? I feel like he is. Me personally, I feel like he is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, he might have lost a couple of fights here and there. Which everybody does, you know what I mean? Everybody, you know, it's very, very, very rare for somebody to go a whole fight career and not lose not one time. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if you do lose, it's okay. It's okay. You know what I mean? So I, f I feel like he is, bro. Especially at his prime. I, I, let me know in the comments too. At Manny Pacquiao prime versus uh, Mayweather prime, who do y'all think will win? Both of their primes, bro. Both of them at the at the peak of their careers. How do you think it would be? As we look back on the life. Hey, 